Catahoula Parish woman is speaking out after she says she was nearly killed by her ex fiance. Fox 14's Bria Jones spoke to her exclusively about the night she almost lost her life and now she still feels under attack. She joins us live in the studio with more. Bria? Connor and Raven, it's been two months since Andrea Johnson says the man she loved threw her into a bayou with alligators and held her hostage for 12 hours. Now she says the Catahoula Sheriff's Office is treating her like a criminal instead of a victim. She was hoping for happily ever after, but what she got nearly killed her. I was going to die and that I couldn't believe as much as he loved me and I loved him. That this was happening. She was drugged by her neck more than 100 yards and thrown into a murky bayou near her home. He had already let me know that he was fixing to kill me. That was his intent. He was going to drown me, and everyone was going to think it was a fishing accident. But it did not go as planned. He kicked me and pushed me down again and told me he wasn't through with me. He was going to finish it. After a frightening night of being pulled by her hair and held at gunpoint, she made it out alive. The next morning, Lytle Montpelier Jr. was arrested and charged with attempted second-degree murder and false imprisonment. But that wasn't the end of trouble. Since his arrest, Johnson has received several text messages from Catahoula Parish Sheriff Tony Edwards and an investigator asking her to make several trips to the jail to bring Mount Pillar some of his belongings, something she can't understand. Since he's been locked up, the demands have all been put on me. Her last trip to the courthouse, bringing back painful memories. I became face to face with him. I was scared for my life. He was not marked with any DOC t-shirt like the rest of the trustees. He was not being supervised. What happened next she wasn't expecting. Told to drop off his glasses, then yelled at for being there. She started talking to me like someone would talk to a criminal. I should have you arrested. You're here harassing him. He doesn't deserve this. Now she is left wondering how the man arrested for trying to take her life was able to earn trustee status. According to the Louisiana Department of Corrections, there are no set rules for Paris jail trustees. I visited with Sheriff Edwards. He told me that the job of a trustee is up to his discretion, and he sees it case by case. Montpelier is being held on a $150,000 bond. He's scheduled for a bond reduction hearing on Tuesday. In the studio, Bria Jones, Fox 14 News.